Welcome back to Trading with CJ. We are talking about a company that we spoke about on this channel before, but it was a while ago, we're doing a big update because there's been a lots of news out since, lots of exciting things going forward. We're talking about Aqua Metals, ticker symbol AQMS. Now we covered these on the 10th of January originally, so about three weeks ago or so, and they was at a price of $3.72 in that video. And if we jump straight into their stock price here, they're on now $5.68. So we've seen very nice gains. If we look back to where we was at the $3.72 mark, it's on gains of about 50% from that previous video. And it dropped off of its highs of $7.37 all the way down to its current price, $5.68, which is a drop of about 23%. So it's been on a bit of a decline, yet there's been lots of exciting news around Aqua Metals. This is not a full in-depth analysis. I have done that before. That is in the description below. If you want to check out a full in-depth stock analysis on Aqua Metals, Check that video out as well. This is an update and a little bit about uh, why there's so many prospects and catalysts for these going forward. So let's jump straight into this. So as a brief overview here, what is Aquametals? Well, Aquametals' mission is to transform the lead acid battery recycling industry to be better for today's world. This is an environmentally friendly company and it's recycling lead. It's doing it in an environmentally friendly way, unlike the current smelting, which generates toxic liquid gases. This is an, a much cleaner technology it's called aqua refining. It is a recycling technology, cleaner, cost effective, and energy efficient, and it produces ultra pure lead. It's literally doing amazing, amazing things. And you can see here, lead is the most recycled material in the world. The current way of doing that is by smelting it, and that is listed amongst the top five world's most polluting industries. The world is moving in an energy efficient way, okay? We're trying to save the environment and to come up with better solutions to this. Our world deserves better. Aqua Metals makes the highest purity lead cost effectively without pollution. Doing amazing things. Like I said, check out our previous stock analysis if you want to see more in, in details. But we're going to go around some big news that's come out since that video. So the first bit of big news that came out around this company was less than a week ago. Aqua Metals and BASF established global partnership. BASF is one of the leading chemical companies with Electrolyte, and they're going to be Aqua Metals' preferred supply here. They've got partnership with this big, big company. So why do they need this? Well, Electrolyte is the key chemical compound used in the aqua refining process. Both companies have agreed to align their business activities in order to provide their customers with an integrated solution. So they're both benefiting from this. BASF will offer Acrofining, its existing and prospective battery recycling, clientele and Acrometals will incorporate BASF product into every initial deployment and system fill. So they're both getting something from this. BASF are getting the recognition, okay? They're getting more exposure to other companies and Acrofining are getting a list of good contacts here from BASF and of course their products. So things that benefit both of these companies. The next bit of good news that we saw come out, this was literally a couple of days ago, and it's, this is big, okay? Aqua Metal submits provisional patent for new capability streamlining link from aqua refining to battery manufacturing. What on earth does this mean, okay? So they're basically, they have filed for a patent, a provisional patent for this new system that they've come up with, this new idea. And what it is, is they've announced that their initial testing of a new methodology for producing battery manufacturing ready active material directly from the aqua refining process have demonstrated promising results. So a provisional patent has been filed to protect this process like most companies would do, which is expected to provide added economic and environmental benefits for aqua refining process. So this is great, okay? This is expected to create key active battery material directly from aqua refining. And the process that they've created is going to generate savings and further improve the environmental impact. So what exactly is this new methodology? Well, the current way of doing it, the traditional way of doing it is a four step process. The first step is smelting the lead. The second step is refining. The third step is casting the lead into ingots. And the fourth step is remelting those ingots to be placed in an oxide reactor for manufacturing. That's the four step process. However, this new method that Aquametals has created is gonna help bypass steps two and three. I'm gonna put the picture up right here, okay? It's gonna get rid of the refining part and the ingotting part. So what's gonna happen, it's gonna save a lot of time, a lot of money, and emissions because the aqua refined lead briquettes will transition now directly into the melting stage at the oxide manufacturer. This is a picture of what these briquettes will be. So this is after they're compressed aqua refined lead. As you can see, it's a bit spongy like. It gets melted down into these briquettes. These can now go directly into the battery manufacturing process, losing those two stages of the refining and the ingotting process. So like we say, it's gonna save time, money, and emissions. 
great things that they've come up with. They've patented this as a provisional patent and it's going to look really good going forward. I want to give you this uh, statement here once again from the CEO. Bypassing refining and ingotting steps is going to enable recyclers license and deploy aqua refining equipment to reduce costs from labor, processing time, and as well as reduce the environmental impact, as we've mentioned, of recycling and manufacturing new batteries. So it's a win-win all round. And the results from their initial production are very promising and they are engaged in ongoing R&D for this new innovative process. So it's early stages, okay, but it's looking promising. They've come up with a brand new solution on top of what they already had. They already had a good system anyway that's proven to work, but now they are redefining that, making it better and better. This new aquafining process is gonna save time, money, even more energy efficient than what they was already doing before. This is great news for the company. So lots of exciting news for Aquametals going forward now on top of this just before market closed a few days ago they had a presentation a webcast presentation and there were some interesting points from that which has really you know opened my eyes to this company even more and made me really excited about where these could potentially go in the future but let's go through some of the points of this presentation so these are the key business drivers they are commercially ready to sell aqua refining equipment and license out already and provide services. It's ready to go. They're seeking to announce their first site in the first quarter or the second quarter of 2021. So that is big news and we'll be waiting that announcement. When that announcement will come, it's gonna help you know increase the production of this and get this really starting to roll out. Great, great news. The second one here is you know about the environment, of course, you know, needing needing these friendly metals to be recycled and technology. The Aquametals is providing that technology. It de-risked and demonstrated a commercial quantities. 35,000 ingots produced and sold for premium. That is massive, leading to strategic investors and partners have included industry giants. So they've got some big giants on their side already. They have a strong board and IP. Over $200 million has been invested towards their commercialization. Currently 65 patents filed slash pending and 51 currently issued. Lots and lots of good things. They're obviously protecting their company. They don't want people copying this system that they've created, this aqua refining system. And the last one here is their business model going forward. So core technologies process and commerciality of aqua refined is already proven. We know that this works. It is ready to go. It's ready to get rolled out. And their focus now is on licensing opportunity and incorporating the aqua refining into industry upgrades. So we spoke about this before in our previous video. Okay, they want to really get these aqua refining systems either licensed out to all these big factories already up there or any of these factories that are upgrading they can upgrade and install aqua refining system that's the main kind of revenue stream this company's going down what's their goals for 2021 well i'm just going to put this up right here okay self-sufficiency of course they want to be able to fend for themselves they've got very good financials okay they currently have five million on their balance sheet so not the most this was as of their last financial results we're obviously still waiting for the next quarter but they are debt free this is big a company with no debt okay and a company with no debt ambitions a product and something that is very very needed right now for sure it's looking really really promising they have a partnership with basf which you just mentioned their product of their oxide which we also just mentioned they're growing their partnerships and they're looking to deploy their first site and then they hope to contract their second site this is in 2021 and the list goes on for the next few years so now i want to show you this really key slide in my opinion from this presentation lab market driving growing demand for lead. Okay, lab is um, lead acid battery. Sales expected to nearly double by 2025. That is big. That is a massive, massive market opportunity of $84 billion by 2025. The largest use of lead today is from lead acid batteries. So that's, once again, in aqua metal sector right there. It still represents over 95% of all battery produced due to the improved recyclability, safety, and performance. And currently over 99% of those batteries are sent to recycling for lead extraction. So aqua metals right here is in an extremely growing sector. And you can see here, you know, it's addressing the growing shortage. There is a shortage of products like this right now. And you can see this little graph. Aqua refining could help lead recyclers meet the demand. It is growing and growing year after year. Look where it was from 20. 15 to where it is now you know 65 billion dollar market cap right at this moment in time however 84.46 is projected by 2025 that's big numbers right there but why does acromels have the advantage that's the reason we're investing in this company well it's enabling global battery recyclers to meet the demand okay they've got the capability to do this it's reducing the environmental impact and it's improving the product quality 99.996 percent pure purest lead on earth that is absolutely incredible from aqua metals right there and they're doing this at either potentially an equal cost or lower to the total cost to recycle which is amazing and the last real slide i want to show you here of is aqua metals why invest this is their like catalyst here for going forward on top of everything we've already mentioned okay in previous videos as well it's the first of their kind it's environmentally friendly lab recycling technology 
the purest lead on earth. We've mentioned that. Over 200 million invested, okay? They've got a strong IP, 113 pat patents issued slash pending. Partners have included industry giants. We just mentioned as well that big inclusion of BASF coming to their partnership. They have a 20 billion plus growing addressable global market for lead and 50% of that is eligible for licensed aqua refining. The potential extensibility of aqua refining and other metal applications. We've mentioned about their licensing and they say that's progressing well. We hope to start getting more and more numbers under their belt as well in the coming weeks slash months and they have good finances. Okay, They're debt free and they have a two plus year cash burn runway. That is amazing. Okay, so. You haven't got to worry about the finances with this company and they have a very uh, competent management. They say their management is fully committed to the execution of capital light business plan. So obviously do really like this company. I like the way they're progressing. They've got a lot of things in the pipeline and they've got very good financials, a very strong moat as well to invest in, into this company. I really do like them. And also they're growing and growing and improving their technology. They have an Aqualizer which has also been improving. From their 2019 version of the Aqualizer, the current one can already double the amount of lead it produces per hour, which is incredible. And I'm sure they're gonna keep growing and developing that even better. Once they start getting some real partnerships, we're really gonna start seeing this company take off. So I wanna have a look at their stock price, I'm gonna let you know my thoughts, whether I'm invested, etc. So the stock price is currently at 568, as we mentioned at the start. They did go on a run up to 722, and it is currently dropped off a bit. I really do think we're gonna see this progress. The reason we said the drop off is like most companies in the last week, the market's just been selling off. I am of course invested into AQMS. And if you're part of our Discord, which is completely free to join, I've been putting my buy and sell alerts on that. And on many of those days I have added to Aquamentals, okay? Especially at those low prices when we see the big drop. It may continue to drop in the coming weeks, but you know, for me, that's just a buying opportunity. It's already out of penny stock territory, just slightly at 568, but we did originally speak about this one, you know, in the three dollar range. So it's grown a lot over a short period of time, and not too many people are talking about this one still. A lot of the big companies out there, a lot of these big penny stocks are thriving right now because they really are public knowledge. This one, in my opinion, is still slightly under the radar, but I think it's got amazing, amazing potential to grow and grow. Definitely invested in it myself. But with that being said, I'm not a financial advisor, so if you are planning on investing, then you should always do your own research first. But I am interested to know your thoughts on this company. Is this one you hold? Or is it on your watch list or are you just avoiding it altogether? Let me know in the comments below. And if you've enjoyed this video, you find it useful or you just want to help me out, please go ahead and smash the like. Subscribe to my channel. That really is appreciated. It helps me build this channel and produce this content as well. So thanks for watching. And until next time.